Welcome back, Sunrise. Now, we're looking at waste management. Household waste has found its way back into the streets of, uh, well, we have Lagos here, but it's not just Lagos, almost taking over the streets back to the 1999-2000 era when the different state metropolises were regarded as some of the dirtiest cities in the world, Lagos being one of those. For the past one year, solid waste has found its way back to major highways street corners, road medians and drainage channels from Alimosho in Lagos to Ikeja, Mushin to Agege, Ikotun Egbe to Isolo, Aja to Ekwe, and Ikorudu to K2 spreading across all the 20 local government areas. Oh, hold on. Now, one particular state, for instance, in the southern part of the country had this thing about the being, it was called the cleanest state at that time because they come out actually to sweep... Across the river? Well, you call Cross River. I didn't call it this. No, I'm just because well, Cross River was one of those states. I visited Cross River at that time. At that time, and out to I, sleep. I actually can bear witness to it that Cross River was. I mean, Calabar was clean. They sweep the streets. They sweep the gutters. And if you and drop all. anything, you must come you must down come and, pick, and pick, it pick it up. Okay. Well, Cross River has <laughs> a, what they call the green sheriffs. The green sheriffs, they set up green sheriffs mm. who are supposed to be helping to ensure that you get back to what it used to be. Hi, now, Lagos. But Please do we're looking same. at waste management. Lagos, a case in point, but we'll spread our, our tentacles. And we have a waste management expert in the house to help us understand how we've been managing our waste. So, Mr. Mm. Ola Orestanya, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's, let's start from here. Nigeria is known to generate annually uh, over 30 billion tons of waste, right? 35 million tons. 35 million tons of waste annually in Nigeria. Right. Now, how much of that would you say, from studies I've looked at, we were just recycling less than 20% of that? Yeah, you're right. What would you say the state of waste management has been in the country if we are only recycling less than 20%? Well, if, if you look across the entire nation, it's, it's not been a very good story on, um, <clears throat> when it comes to waste management generally, you know, on an average. And, um, um, well, you can tell that back to issue of uh, lack of uh, policy direction. Uh, as, as I speak to you, we don't have a national policy on waste management. It's not there. So there is no kind of uh, harmonized um, views or approach that can be the national baselines that we can run with. Do we need mm. a national policy? I mean, each can state seems to have its own. For instance, local, yes. Lagos used to have a sanitation, last Saturday of the month, sanitation right. day. Right. But because of the court um, order, that was jettisoned. Ogun State still has um, sanitation day, last Saturday of the month. Right. Lagos still has Thursday as sanitation day right. for business areas. Some other states have sanitation days. Right. These are state policies on cleaning up the environment. Mm. Do we need something national to even begin to clean our environment? Yes, yes, we do. And it's all about that knowledge. It's all about knowledge, all right? And uh, the, the, the policy is to create the knowledge that will drive your direction. So we need to create the national aspiration. Where are we going? What do we want? So and, uh, we need to create those baselines and our benchmark our activities towards that. What we've had in the time past, you just mentioned Cross Rivers and you mentioned some other states. Now, yes, Lagos in, in, in the past. You know, we had performances in silos and we cannot integrate this. That is why it was easy for uh, um, um, various administrations and government to tinker with the policy directions. If the national baseline I tell us that, look, you can't go beyond this when it comes to I mean, issues of waste management then you are, you are guided. You are guided. And I think as a, Nash, as a federal government, that should create that line. Right now, the, uh, our president is going for uh, another um, conference of parties right now. And uh, these are issues. You'll be in Poland, all right? We, we're talking about climate change and the national footprint in reduction of uh, uh, climate, I mean, ga I mean greenhouse. Emission, greenhouse emissions, mm -hmm. right? Waste management is a major company, is a major issue where you can relate this to those treaties that we sign globally. We need to relate it to it. We need to have a funding pattern. We need to have the kind of people that will manage the sector. We need to know the level of partnership you can have and what extent you can go. 
so that you don't leave this to just politicians to apply their discretions. Mm -hmm. And that waste management has suffered so much in this direction. So we've tempered with so many other policy directions that is not allowing us to grow the sector nationally. If the states are not coming together, does, then, does that then mean that the waste is not being effectively managed? Yes. Let's start from what, what you can measure, you can't even manage. Let's start from that. So we're either under deploying resources or over deploying resources. All right, so you can relate it with the economic benefit. The private sector is finding so hard to relate to government in that sector because you can't just define the performance index. Mm -hmm. So it's, the private sector is coming to this for money. It needs money. The public sector needs value for money. Taxpayers are paying, and they need to have value for the money. But you need the knowledge. So there's a gap mm -hmm. in bridging how the private sector will invest into this. The problem is there. The problem is a potential prospect in itself. We have other nations that are making progress in this. And it's because they have a national policy and the implementation frameworks that is driving the sector. So it allows the private sector to know the do's and don'ts so well. And it allows the bank to be able to invest, to be able to grant loan for the sector. So the expectations are clearly defined. Mm. It's mm. very amorphous right now. But, but you know that in, in our climb, if there is a national policy, they might politicize it because they feel like, I mean, it doesn't tally with my aspirations, so those political aspirations. So they might politicize at the end of the day, it will not end up not having the kind of effects that is desired. So do we need to have that? Can we work around that national policy and look at how the states, for instance, Lagos State, how the states, for instance, can manage their waste better? In the last few months, for instance, we keep hearing how waste have returned to the streets of Lagos, how the waste disposal um, apparatus appears to be failing. To, is it the national that, that's to blame for that? How is it that the state within itself is failing in itself? Okay, thank you. Uh, relating that, if you have a national framework, all right, for example, what happened in Lagos, Lagos has to engage the private uh, investor um, to come and raise the bar um, before now, what we used to have in Lagos was a social entrepreneurship approach to waste management. That's why you have the private sectors. Mm -hmm. I mean, the PSP, yeah, yeah. you know, these are social investors. And that there's a way government will always underwrite and bridge the social cost when you have a social investors. And uh, the advantage is there is to grow the skill within and uh, allow the private investors in uh, SMEs mainly to be able to grow and aggregate that into um, social benefits, creating more jobs among the people and the rest of it. So government was actually bridging and paying a social cost for that. Now, the policy has to shift to almost like a capitalist investment. Government wanted um, a kind of a bigger investor that will now be able to aggregate these social investors on that one portfolio and make it more effective. It was a nice aspiration. It was a nice desire. But there are some baselines, which are supposed to be the national baselines, that are supposed to guide such partnership. What Lagos did in the time past was to evolve his own strategy, his own policy, an SME. If we have a national policy that says that waste management has to be on a social investment portfolio, then it guides everybody. You will know that it must be um, the local investors that must invest and when you look at the value chain, you have the storage, you have a collection, all right? Collection cost is about 75% of the job. You have um, waste treatment, mm -hmm. which is high tech. The national policy will tell you, probably, maybe you need to go global. You need to go international to get waste, those that will treat waste, waste mm -hmm. treatment investors, mm -hmm. can be a global thing, all right? So we are guided. So mm -hmm. when a new government comes, there's a document that guides you.